Morning everybody, welcome to the Tarot Intention of the Day from ComingOutTarot.com. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're here for the first time, my name's Seth, welcome, and I will tell you a little bit more what's going on in a second. And if you're watching this on the replay, thanks! Uh, it'll be up for about 24 hours, and I'm going to push it over into my other channels at the same handle, Coming Out Tarot, over at YouTube and uh, Facebook. It'll come up tonight on Facebook so that you can check it out at the end of the day if it's helpful for you. And I do recommend checking it out at the end of the day, especially if you're not quite sure what to do with the intention of the day. If you check it out at the end of the day, think first about the events that occurred during the course of your day and how this intention could have been applied to one of those events, either running into somebody or going to a meeting or um, taking a phone call, whatever it is, and how the intention can move the outcome of that event into the direction in which you'd like it to go. Hey, George. So that's the point of the intention of the day. If you're not quite sure how to apply it, that's what you do. So this is definitely not a prediction for how your day is going to go. It's a way for you to be active, thoughtful, mindful about those events that occur during the course of your day. So you're not just kind of floating through life, hoping things are going to work out. And hey, it's Friday. We're almost there. So we got a little bit more push to do. So why not push in a way that is active and mindful? So today I'm using the Tarot Illuminati deck. And the card that I've drawn for today is the Ten of Swords. And what's actually, there's always so much going on in this card for me. And in general, it's kind of about, there's a bit of an ending, possibly a beginning, especially when you're looking at numbers like the number 10, they can indicate that cycle of something ending and starting to begin again. And just looking at the picture, I mean, you see this guy who's been stabbed in the back with a bunch of swords, his life is over, but it, could there be a sunset? Could there be a sunrise? We're not sure what's going on. What's actually important to me in this card today is the bit of blood that's in his hand in the Benedict benediction uh, symbol that he's got going on there. So for me, it's about the sacrifice of what you're willing to give up today and something you may have been holding on to that it's time to just push out and let go. So it's really about the way that you can approach those events that occur during the course of your day and what you're able to release about those events or something in particular, it could be something big, right? So what are you willing to release today in order to be successful and move forward? That's the point of the intention of the day to day. Uh, if this is helpful, then please share it with other people. And if you're not already following me, please follow me so you can keep up with the tarot intention of the day. I'd love to share these with you live so that we can have some great feedback. Hey, Fusion. Uh, so that's uh, what I would ask of you today. And by the way, it's Friday, so I'm going to be on later tonight, probably around, um, probably around, I'm hoping 5.30 or 6, because I uh, we have a dinner date with some friends tonight. So we'll be going out to dinner uh, so I can't stay on as long as I usually like to. So come see me tonight. Follow me so you can get that notification that I'm going to be on so we can uh, do some interaction with some free tarot readings. I usually like to pull one card for folks on Fridays and give you an idea of what it's like to have a reading with me. But you're always welcome to throw $10 in the kitty and get uh, a more intense reading. Now tonight, what I'm going to do is come on Periscope and say hi, but I'm going to go do the readings over on Facebook Live on my Facebook page. So if you're not already following me on Facebook, go follow me over on, on um, Facebook at Coming Out Tarot, and I'm going to be doing the readings over there. So that's just a shift in how I normally do things. I like to keep everybody on their toes. So I will see you all tonight uh, and maybe next week. By the way, by the way, by the way, uh, the confidence challenge starts on the third. Yep, uh, all one word, coming out tarot. Confidence challenge starts on the third. So if you want to find out more about that, go to coming out tarot, click on the big button that says confidence on it, and find out more about the confidence challenge. I'd love to answer any questions you have about it. I got to get going to work. Bye, everybody.